Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning coding writer version 3, HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 8. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about form errors as well as settings or old value. In the last video, we had seen that if we back to browser, now this is our sign up module what we have developed so far so if i press submit button without filling any form data so as we can see that we are getting error messages in a bundle at the top header but we want that if we want to show each form each form error messages at the respective field so how can we show that it means that the name field error should be right here the email field error should be right here and so on so how can we make settings like that so in code igniter we have some functions for that so if we back to slide now inside this video we are going to discuss about two functions the first function will give you about the respective error messages at the field position inside this form error function we have to pass the name attribute of the respective field so back to our editor scroll down now let's say that this is our name field and we want that the respective error messages of name field should be appear right here so let's say that here i'm going to define php tag and let's say that echo form underscore error and inside this form error function we have to pass the name attribute so this is the name attribute of this name field so copy and paste here so again if I suppose want to get about the email error messages so PHP tag let's say echo it should be form underscore error and inside this form error function we have to pass the name attribute of this email field again back to our mobile field let's say that php echo form underscore error and the name attribute of this mobile field is txt mobile so i am to copy and paste inside this function all we have done now if i again go at the top and comment all these bundle validation error messages back to browser reload this page once and now let's say that I am to click on the submit button without any form data. Now as we can see that we are getting the error messages at each respective field. So let's do this error messages in red color. So back to editor and if I again go to browser and inspect these error messages to see the wrapped element and this is inside paragraph tag. As we can see inside this element section these error messages are appearing inside this paragraph tag so back to editor now let's say that I am to wrap all these error messages inside this span tag now inside this span tag I am to add one more attribute and let's say that error again if I copy this span element go here pasting it here let's say span and again for the mobile section we are going to do the same thing so span here ends okay so if I save all these changes now go to browser close this inspect again reload this page submit and these are the error messages so if I inspect that now as we can see that we are getting a span tag and it's inside this span tag we have no paragraph tag so let's convert span tag into div because inside span tag paragraph tag is not comfortable so copy this div pasting it here pasting it here pasting it here and pasting it here finally we have done that again reload this page and inspect that now we are getting div so on the behalf of div if I writing something here so let's say here div 
with class error. Let's say that color equal to red and as we can see that we are actually converted the error messages into red color. So only what we have to do, we have to go inside load styles and inside this we have to write comma div error save all these changes reload this page continue and as we can see that we are getting error messages perfect in red color for the red color actually we have added this element right here separated with comma it means that these two parts actually execute the same CSS now let's say that on the second behalf of discussion we need to see that if I again let's pass some value and this is something let's say we have some value and some dummy mobile number and here if I choose designation about web designer and press submit button so before pressing submit button let's say that we have no email address press submit now as we can see that we have no value inside this email field but as we know that we have value inside this name field inside this mobile field as well as inside this designation so how can we keep our existing values after getting any error messages so to keep existing value we are going to use the second function something called set underscore value now inside this set underscore value function we have to pass the same the name attribute of the respective element so back to editor go to our view file and let's say that if we want to keep the existing value or the old value for this name field so we have to use called the value and inside this we have to use called set underscore value and inside this we have to pass the name attribute so as we know that the txt name is the name attribute for this name field again if I copy this value section pasting inside this email and this time we have called txt email as the name attribute again copy pasting here inside this mobile section copy this name attribute and pasting it here all we have done now these three input boxes now let's say that this time for the drop down so here let's say that php old underscore value equal to set value and inside this we have to pass the name attribute so this is dd designation pasting it here now we are getting the old value inside this old value variable now copy this variable back to this section and let's say that inside this php tag let's if old value equal to equal to something web designer so copy that pasting it here so this option field should be selected so let's echo double quotes and let's say selected so the same thing we need to repeat for all the options actually web developer tester and so on so this time the second value something called web developer copy that pasting it here so it should be selected again copy that for the tester so copy the option value pasting inside this and also finally we have to copy this and go for the BA so pasting it here and this is BA section so while getting any form error messages we are getting the old value inside this old value variable after getting old value we are just comparing that what value actually we have selected after getting this if condition if any value will match then it will be selected so if we save all these changes back to browser again reload this page now as we can see that the old value what we have filled 
this is the name this is the mobile number and this is the web designer we are getting as the old value again go back back here reload this page now let's say that I'm not going to specify any name inside this field but the email let's say that this is our dummy email and the phone number let's say that this is our dummy phone number and we want to select about the tester designation so if I press submit button now as we can see that this is the error of this respective field but we are getting the existing value of all these fields so this is the benefit of keep existing value by using this set value function so inside this video session guys we had discussed about getting our form error messages to each field as well as to keep our existing value after getting any error messages to our form fields by using this set underscore value function so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.